and we have an organic solvent. organic solvent such as an oil so now I have water as one solvent and an organic solvent as the second solvent so what happens if I have a solute that can dissolve if what if what happens if I have a solute that can dissolve in both these solvents so for example ammonia let's say let's take an example for example ammonia can dissolve in both these solvents so ammonia will be partitioned because if i add ammonia to this container some ammonia will be dissolved in water and some ammonia will be dissolved in organic solvent and uh, uh, ammo uh, and it will depend on so where it where more of ammonia is dissolved it will depend on ammonia solubility so if ammonia is more soluble in water so then more of ammonia will be dissolved in this and less of ammonia will be dissolved in this in the organic solvent so uh, now I write KPC which is the partition coefficient is equal to the concentration of NH3 in the organic solvent OS the phase is the organic solvent over the concentration of NH3 because I've taken ammonia here the concentration of NH3 aqueous so in the water solvent in the water phase so this is uh, the concentration of ammonia in this divided by the con concentration of ammonia in this will give me the partition coefficient of ammonia between them so now if kpc is greater than 1 it will mean that more of ammonia dissolves in the organic solvent than in water but if kpc is less than 1 that means that more of the uh, ammonia dissolves in water than the organic solvent so that's how we interpret partition coefficient values and as you can see here I've written the definition of partition coefficient it is the equilibrium constant of a solute partition between two immiscible solvents so you must remember that the solvents must be immiscible so now we'll do an exercise on partition coefficients so it says that when 40 centimeter cube of hexane was shaken with 10 centimeter cube of a solution containing 0.25 grams of Q we have a random compound Q so we don't know what it is it can be anything but they have labeled it as Q so when 40 centimeter cube of hexane was shaken with 10 centimeter cube of a solution containing 0.25 grams of Q in 10 centimeter cube of methanol it was found that so let's mark the values it was found that 0.06 grams of Q was extracted into the hexane so calculate K partition or KPC of Q between hexane and methanol so the one that they have stated first will always be in the numerator and the one that they have stated later will be in the denominator that's the rule so K partition is equal to the concentration of Q in the in hexane I'm writing H over the concentration of Q in methanol I'm writing here M so Q in H in the phase of H and Q in the phase of M so initially when uh, we had initially when we had no Q in hexane but only 0.25 grams of Q in methanol uh, that so the total amount that will always remain the total amount of Q in it will be 0.25 grams because that was the total initial amount so the total initial amount will be the same as the total final amount so this will be 0.25 grams now they say that 0.06 of Q was extracted into hexane so the concentration of Q in hexane will be 0.06 over 40 because the volume of hexane is 40 divided by 0.25 minus 0.06 because since 0.06 was extracted into hexane 0.25 minus 0.06 is left in, e in methanol so uh, this divided by this over 10 because the, this was the volume of methanol so 0 0 cancels out uh, let me just a second yeah 0 0 cancels out and then when we have KPC turns out to be 
for this question it turns k partition turns out to be 0 0.0789 it will have no units